Hello, welcome to another video from AfNewX. Look at Chinese Romland in the past week. Relatively normal amount of news on Chinese Romland until literally last night when I was sleeping. The morning of Friday in China, Tencent decides to follow IT. I don't know, like they probably coordinate. Today, first I'm gonna still talk about things that are not exclusively Tencent that happened before Friday. Then I will select a couple of dramas that I think my audiences might be a little bit more interested in in 2025 on the platform Tencent. So let's first go through the normal stuff. Last week when I filmed my video, I said likely on the 14th, Chun Hua Yan, Kill Me, Love Me is gonna show up. At the moment I made the video, it hasn't been decided. Right after that, pretty much it's announced. So. The drama did go live on the 14th and I watched some of it. I'll try my best to basically run to about episode 8 I think at least and see how I'm gonna talk about it if people are interested in. I watched up to episode 3. By that point, I, as I finished it, I feel like I've done my due diligence of being a drama reviewer and I, I, I shouldn't trouble myself. So I didn't continue watching. Maybe I will, like just a couple more episodes so that I can have substantial amount of things I can rant about the drama. It's by no means the worst of the pair of dramas I've seen this year. The production is completely operating on the outside. It's like a balloon. It's really colorful, it's like all decorated and it's pretty and it's big. But then inside nothing happens and you just need a needle to and it that's how this type of dramas are, balloon dramas that, that has no substance at all. In everything, in acting, performance, like is there any genuine humans with connection you can build with the characters or the story? No. Not even entertainment value. You know, if you want to kill time, there are so many other things you can do to kill time that may just provide you with a side effect of actually benefit yourself in some other ways. I don't know, like doing yoga. Maybe I'll just like waste my life and watch it a little bit more so that we can rant about it together. Anyway, moving on to the next. Next one, we have a drama that's being scheduled to go live on the 19th. It is a contemporary drama on the platform ITE and we've talked about this project quite a few times. It's the third romantic contemporary drama Chen Xingxu is leading that's showing up this year for him. Neither Huang Yan, Ye Dongting, Beautiful Lie, Chen Xingxu and Zhang Yuxi. Both very pretty people for sure, but in terms of how ridiculous the plot can get until we see it, because it's filled with alarms. Male lead is a doctor who meets star, like a celebrity actress. And they've released a new trailer, it just looks very contemporary idol drama. Very, very, even the filter looks very much that. Then on the 23rd, on Youku, we have a contemporary drama going live called Hei Bai Jue. No English title yet. And this is a police detective drama that's mostly talking about a gold mine. It's set kind of, I feel, at late 90s, early 2000s time and it's talking about two different generations of policemen. Older policemen as the teacher, younger policemen as the student and they have clashes but they work together type of situation. And the drama is led by Yang Xuwen and Tian Yu. It would also feature Zhang Zhijian and Gai Yuexi, familiar faces in familiar genre. So now the actor Yang Xuwen, not only is he playing ancient Chinese people who are literally breaking cases, <laughs> working in the ancient legal system, is also playing policeman of contemporary time. Maybe he just has the face that looks very gong jianfa. Because I think this is not the only contemporary drama he's in where he's playing a policeman. Let's see how it's gonna work out. I will try my best to check out this one. Then on 26, we have a contemporary drama 36 episodes going live on both China Central Television 8 and Tencent called Hao Tuan Yuan, Our Days, a contemporary family drama. And the story happens around three sisters of a family. So they would be the female leads of the story and it will include their parents and their lovers and husbands and all that. And the three sisters are played by Bai Bai He, Li Chun, Wang Yuwen. I like all three of them as actresses. So I will do my best again to check out this drama. So those are the clearly telling you when they're airing dramas. And I'm pretty sure by the end of this month, we would have had more dramas going live than this. Then on November the 19th, we have a film that will be released in cinema. It's called 那个不为人知的故事. Literally means that story that's unknown to people. And they've released a trailer that's just one moment of the acting. Very intensely emotional, 
snippet. This is a quite well-known story, I think, among a lot of novel readers in China. So just by reading the character setup, you kind of get why it's called a story that's unknown to people. The male lead character in this film is a anti-drug policeman. For this type of policeman in China, they're usually undercover. If you do it, you kind of have to hide your identity forever type of situation. So our male lead is such a Person, and then the female lead repairs archaeological artifacts. It's led by Qiu Zhe and Lang Yueting. This story is based on a novel written by the web novel writer who actually wrote a couple of stories that have already been adapted. Probably the best known one would be Da Huo Ji Yu Gong Zhu Qun, Zhang Jingyi and Chen Fei Yu Drama that I totally cannot deal with, but apparently did pretty well. Then we have a drama that has passed censorship and it can air anytime now. This is the <laughs> period drama Yu Zheng mm -hmm, drama called Wu Fu Li Men Perfect Match 36 Episodes. And when it airs, will be airing on Mango. And this drama is led by the familiar pack of actors such as Wang Xingyue, Lu Yuxiao, Liu Xianning, Wu Xuanyi, and many, many other people. This is also the drama upon its opening ceremony where Yu Zheng shouted publicly, let the people who cannot come to this crew go die, and that made it famous on the internet. And he is referring to the female lead actress who ran away from this project he claimed, who promised him to be the lead, but then decided to sign up with another project. And I've talked about it during that week. And so that drama is already censored and it's gonna show up anytime. I'm wondering by the time the drama airs on its official social media, how many people are gonna still be talking about Go Die. Also, we have a drama that is only just started shooting half a month ago or something, they've already started releasing materials. People are so exhausted, I just feel everybody, like promotional stuff of dramas. Before you even start shooting, you have to start promoting. When you started shooting, you have to promote. It's like what, well, we've only been shooting for half a month and already we need to edit trailers so that... Uh, I wish the world can slow down. Maybe we don't need to know any of that. When the drama shows up, let it show up. And before it shows up, just let people deal with other things. <laughs> so this is based on Yi Shu's novel drama led by Zhao Youting and Tang Yan. Definitely reminds you of Tale of Rose. Mm -hmm. It's like similar, Lady Liberty. A very short trailer this week and then character photos. Also during this week, the drama that Cheng Yi has been filming for the past two, three months just wrapped. The period drama Fu Shanghai, Going to Mountains and Sea. And I believe a couple of weeks ago, there was an episode um, when they were filming it that the wire had a problem and it dropped Cheng Yi onto the ground when he was up in the air. That looks pretty bad. Fortunately, he didn't get injured in any way seriously to affect shooting or anything. Again, it's a genre of Chinese dramas like Xianxia Wuxia that just have to use it. And you know it's not real, nobody can really fly in the air. But then you get so used to this way of how it gets shown on screen in this genre that if people stop flying, it will look also weird. Once it's invented, it cannot be uninvented type of situation, so it's just gonna keep happening. Then before we go into the selected Tencent 2025 drama trailers, I want to mention another drama that has started shooting this week. It's an ITE drama, it's a contemporary one, supposedly 36 episodes, called Ping Deng Zhi Men Truth. And this is a drama that is about the supreme prosecution of China and their branches of medical examining. And then it's led by Qin Lan and Zhang Youhao. And then it will also feature other very well-known actors such as Li Guangjie and Huang Yao. Qin Lan, she, like, she just like works really well when she pairs up with Didi. <laughs> so I hope this one works out. And Zhang Youhao, he's been around actually for a long time. Do you still remember him in 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms? It's how many years now? Seven? He's in a lot of things, but he never plays the significant leading role. I hope this can work out for him. And also for this type of drama, I hope it's a good enough script. Now, let's get into <laughs> Friday. Tencent decides to tell you we have this many dramas. And again, just to remind you, this is not the complete list, we have more. First, I'll mention the dramas that are contemporary or closer to contemporary time setting, and then I'll be talking about pure period pieces. In the contemporary brackets of things, Xiao Qi Qingrang, Love on the Turquoise Land, has released another trailer because it's directed by the same director who did Tianjin Mystic. If you've watched Tianjin Mystic, you know what kind of visual style this director really likes to go 
for and I would say. In this trailer, it's even more obvious that it's made by the same person who made Tianjin Mystic. The color and how, how it's visually presented is very consistent of that person's style. If that's your cup of tea, at least visually this drama will be interesting for you to see. Next, a drama we also have talked about previously, but this time you see more about its content, Ren Zhichu, Light of Dawn, a contemporary drama that's talking about some cases that's been hidden in the past and then the young people are trying to investigate and find out about their parents in the past and what happened. It is led by Zhang Ruoyun and Ma Sichun, also featuring many well-known actors such as Wang Jingchun. Then the next one, Shicheng, Shanghai, literally means the lion city's mountain and sea, but English title is Contenders, and this is made by Changxin, the company that made Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty, and it's featuring Wei Zi, a very veteran actor, and Yang Xuwen, and it is a gangster. <laughs> drama about gangsters and policemen. Mafia drama. It's set in Southeast Asia and because Changxing has been actually making a few things in the past of that type of geo setting and time period and stuff. So this is not unfamiliar to them. And let's see if working with Tencent will be anything different or same as working with ICE. We also have only recently finished shooting contemporary drama Xu Wo Yao Yan. Love's Ambition, romantic contemporary drama led by Zhao Lu and Chen Weiting releasing a trailer during this whole event. Sometimes when I look at those type of trailers of this type of high romance and idealized contemporary drama, the actors in those dramas not only are they pretty, but wouldn't it be great if they <laughs> They can also act as well as these two <laughs> earlier this year, you know, in contemporary romantic drama land, you know, with those type of super, super tropey plot, they can still make it work. That means like they're just such good actors. For this type of similar time setting and then sort of vibe setting contemporary romantic dramas in Chinese drama land, you look everywhere, it's like nobody can act. It's like, yeah, they can look pretty. Hardly anybody can act and make you believe in the uh, unbelievable settings and go with it. You can't go with it. You're just sitting on the side and looking at it. That's silly. It's going to be a pretty drama, okay? But then that's probably about it. Then we have more realistic and probably heavier and worth cheering and having a lot more characters and good proper actors, but then they don't belong to the romanticized life genre drama. Releasing its trailer, Liu Zimei, The Six Sisters. And it's a contemporary drama that's talking about this whole family of well, having six sisters. Time-wise, it feels like maybe as early as they can push it to 60s. I can't quite be sure whether it's 60s or 70s, but it's pretty old to now, including a lot of actresses today who are in all types of dramas, not just in serious dramas, also in romantic idol period, all types. So this will be a really interesting ensemble drama to look at. Probably the definitive lead of the six sisters will be played by Mei Ting. If she's playing the eldest sister, it makes perfect sense. Then you will have Gao Lu, Wu Qian, Ying Er, Shen Yue, Li Jiaqi, which is Lan Mei Yangzi, the uh, comedian. So all those girls will be involved in the story and then you have the family parents and then relatives and everybody. It's just a huge family saga and this type of drama will probably remind you of dramas like Ren Shi Jian, a lifelong journey type of thing. So these are the contemporary dramas I want to pick out among all the drama releases that are more than less this week from Tencent. Then let's talk about one, two, three. I picked three period dramas just for my own interest. First, another trailer from Yong Ye, Xing He, Love Game in the Eastern Fantasy. Please change the English title by the time you release the drama, please, because Love Game in Eastern Fantasy sounds just like those AI translated thing that's like off, you know? So <laughs> please change it. And it's about, in the drama version at least, it's about female lead goes into sort of the book or game setting and then has to earn her living there and not getting killed and survive. And it's played by Yu Shuxing as a female lead. The male lead is Ding Yuxi, so it's their collaboration again. Let's hope it works out. And this time they released a trailer that's completely different from their first trailer. This time it's actually in the story she's in and how she's trying to survive and meeting her new friends and team and survive in that world. Think about Xianjian and any of those dramas that has that type of structure. You have a couple of guys, couple of girls and they're teamed up and they're paired up in different ways and then they go on adventures and fight enemies. Very similar to that type of setup. Let's hope it turns out to be a watchable. Like I just need it to be a watchable. I don't need it to be masterpiece. I don't hope for it anymore. Next one, Jing Yue Ru Ge, Legend of the Female General, led by Zhou Ye and Cheng Lei. And this is female lead, reborn, revenge story. Very interesting character setup. 
and at least based on the trailer, it looks like an also watchable period drama, and everybody is dubbed. The female lead actually is a girl, obviously, but then her first life she's treated as a boy. She's literally hidden. Her real identity is hidden. Everybody believes she's a boy, but she's actually a girl. And then she gets used by her family, and she becomes a general, but she dies. She had to basically pass for a boy, and making sense for everybody to believe that not only is she a boy, but she's like really good at fighting general, which is hard to sell based on how tiny <laughs> Zhou Yi is. Physically, right? Like, there's only that much you can do to dress up a girl to make her look like a boy. Its original IP is pretty well known, I think, among web novel fans. Next year, we're gonna see the end result of this thing. Based on the trailer, it looks like okay, neutral. My opinion is not hoping for it to be too good, and I hope it doesn't crash too badly. Then the last one probably will be the most interesting project, but also I am not too optimistic, which is Chang'an the Lichi, the Lichi Road, the Tang Dynasty set in period drama based on the book written by the guy who wrote a lot of such dramas, Ma Boyong, Chang'an Shi'er Shi Chen, Feng Qi, Long Xi, Chen Kun, and Bai Yuan. He's done quite a few. And it's all period piece. It's all based on real historical time and semi-real historical events, but then adding a lot of very interesting detective thriller that type of plot in the famous story of how to transport lychee, which is a fruit of south of China, to ancient Chang'an, which is in the northwest of China, and thousands of miles, three days of time <laughs> before the fruit completely just rot. Because lychee rots very fast. How do you do it? And this is the whole sort of adventure of this main character who gets this task. He has to figure out how to do it, otherwise his head is on the chopping block. There are many episodes count of this drama. I think it's like thirty, forty episodes or something. But then it's just like this one story. So how do you make it fill up that? Big of a size of a drama with this one thing, which is this guy needs to figure out a way to transport Lichi, and then also with other things you've seen Ma Boyong's previous novels being adapted into dramas, it tend to like to me always the narratives just don't work very well with visual storytelling, or the people who are adapting it to screen are not really good at translating the text into visual. Even when Chan Shi Shi Chen is super pretty story wise, it just To me, it's like nah, nah, not really. Long Xi has similar problems. So for Li Qi Road, it's again Li Jiayin, Ma Boyong, Tang Dynasty setting story, Mao Li. I mean, he can definitely pull it off. His acting is definitely good enough. But he's been in so many dramas, playing the middle aged, average, ordinary person guy that in a way people also get tired of him because he tends to play very similar roles in very similar ways all the time. Like it always worked out, so it, it's not necessary for him to change anything. But then over time, you get tired of it. Type of situation. Anyway, those are the ten cent trailers of dramas they're putting out in twenty twenty five that I think are interesting. We shall see if next week happens to be super super like blank and empty and nothing happens. I'll mention the rest of the trailers that showed up this week that I didn't have time to squeeze into this video. So that should be the end of this video. Thank you for watching Omni X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.